Currently, on our roads, traditional cars with internal combustion engines are a common sight, and they tend to be more affordable than the emerging electric vehicles that are gradually taking their place. Across the globe, governments are actively working towards reducing harmful CO2 emissions to safeguard our planet. A significant strategy involves endorsing electric vehicles in the automotive sector. Leading this charge are three major regions, China, Europe, and America. Despite their efforts, a persistent challenge remains. Electric vehicles come with a higher price tag compared to conventional diesel or petrol cars. It's not due to evolving technology, but rather the expensive materials required in crafting electric vehicles. Fortunately, China has a distinct advantage in this aspect. They possess convenient access to the raw materials essential for manufacturing electric vehicles, freeing them from reliance on other nations for their own vehicle production. This advantage helps them overcome the financial challenge associated with the high costs of electric vehicles. Geely, a notable Chinese brand, has taken a courageous step to address the issue of expensive electric vehicles by introducing a new car priced at $6,000. Who is Geely exactly? And does this car truly justify its price? Let's delve into how China has pleasantly surprised the electric vehicle industry with this budget-friendly $6,000 car. Presently, there are more than 1.4 billion conventional cars with internal combustion engines worldwide, contributing to the harmful CO2 emissions affecting our planet. Yet, the global automotive landscape is undergoing a noteworthy transformation, and the ascent of electric vehicles is pivotal in lessening our dependency on oil. Anticipated by 2030, electrification is poised to eliminate the necessity for 5 million barrels of oil per day. Over the last three years, the market share of electric vehicles has surged, surpassing 10 million units and constituting 14% of all new car sales. This marks a notable progression from just 9% in 2021 and less than 5% in 2020. Consequently, the global roads witnessed over 26 million electric cars in 2022 showcasing an astounding 60% surge from the preceding year. Despite this remarkable growth, industry experts foresee that the electric vehicle sector is merely at its inception. Projections indicate that by the conclusion of 2023, 14 million EVs are expected to be sold, potentially making up 18% of total car sales. Geely's bold initiative could serve as a catalyst for a substantial shift in the embrace of electric vehicles, rendering them more accessible worldwide and hastening the transition towards a more sustainable future. The UK government has a strategy to cease the sale of new petrol and diesel cars by 2035, aiming to achieve zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. Presently, there are 39 million vehicles navigating UK roads, but only 27,000 new electric cars were registered last year. Upon investigation, it was revealed that transitioning all cars in the UK to electric would result in a nearly 12% reduction in carbon emissions. Intriguingly, electric cars aren't a recent innovation. Back in the late 90s, a remarkable 90% of New York taxis were electric. Nevertheless, historical shifts led by figures like Henry Ford steered the automobile industry towards mass-producing internal combustion engine cars, altering our perception of what a typical car should entail. This transformation unfortunately poses challenges particularly because electric cars boast a simpler design featuring electric motors, a battery, and a controller. This simplicity eliminates the intricacies associated with moving mechanical parts in internal combustion engines and their related technologies, as well as the energy required to manufacture each component. Much like how Henry Ford and other pioneers in the automotive industry devised methods to create budget-friendly cars, Chinese electric vehicle, EV manufacturers, have also innovatively figured out how to mass produce electric cars at lower costs. Benefiting from a robust automobile industry and convenient access to raw materials, Chinese manufacturers can swiftly construct cars at more economical prices. These vehicles not only boast appealing price tags, but also come equipped with impressive standard features. Interestingly, there is a growing demand among European consumers for affordable electric vehicles. Patrick Collar, the CEO of VIA, pointed out that China is manufacturing high-quality vehicles, making it challenging for Europe to curb its import reliance. This predicament is particularly worrisome for Europe when compared to the United States. Despite a rise in the average price of electric cars in Europe since 2015, the prices have decreased in China, rendering them more cost-effective than petrol cars. Chinese electric vehicle manufacturers can achieve this cost advantage due to lower research and development expenses 
capital spending, and labor costs compared to their European and American counterparts. Currently, China holds approximately 5.8% of Europe's electric vehicle market share. As per insights from the French auto consultancy Innova, this market share is anticipated to experience significant growth in the upcoming years, thanks to the introduction of more cost-effective models by Chinese brands. On the flip side, the imposition of high duties by the U.S. on Chinese manufactured vehicles has hindered China from making substantial inroads into the American car market. Many buyers tend to favor brands they are familiar with and trust, such as Toyota, Volkswagen, Audi, BMW, and Mercedes-Benz. Consequently, making the switch to Chinese car brands presents a considerable leap for many consumers. Moreover, Chinese electric vehicles, EVs, have garnered five-star safety ratings from European regulators, effectively dispelling perceptions of inferior quality. Geely Group's CEO has set an ambitious target of selling 600,000 electric vehicles in 2023. Geely's strategy encompasses micro EVs, with their primary contender in this market being the Wuling Mini EV. Remarkably, the Wuling Mini EV secured its position as the best-selling micro EV in China in 2022 alone, boasting sales exceeding 554,000 vehicles and a total surpassing 1.1 million. Regarding the design of Geely's Panda Mini EV, it adopts a compact and boxy style akin to the Wuling Mini EV and Jig Tour ice cream. Nevertheless, Julie infused some delightful touches into the design. The Panda Mini EV showcases round headlights affectionately dubbed cute big eyes and a bionic design, while the side mirrors are playfully referred to as bare ears. The vehicle proudly displays an abundance of glass and a captivating rear window design. The blacked out pillars contribute to a floating roof appearance, and the doors and fenders are adorned with stylish oval stampings. Once inside the cabin, you'll encounter a contemporary and tidy dashboard. Standard features include a sleek 9.2-inch instrument panel and an 8-inch central touchscreen supporting a variety of functions, from camera control and electric air conditioning to Bluetooth and remote control. The center console is equipped with a rotary gear selector, enhancing the overall user experience. Moreover, there's a fixed panoramic roof spanning 64 inches, allowing an influx of natural light into the cabin. The Panda Mini EV is equipped with 22 kilowatt DC fast charging, allowing the battery to charge from 30% to 80% within a mere 30 minutes. Despite its compact design tailored for urban commuting and a modest horsepower output, the Panda Mini EV features a single electric motor propelling the rear wheels, delivering 40 horsepower and 110 newton meters of torque. Alternatively, there is a lower spec variant with 27 horsepower and 85 newton meters of torque. The range varies across versions, with the 27 horsepower model covering 120 kilometers and the 40 horsepower model extending its range to 200 kilometers. Available in various configurations, the Panda Mini EV caters to different preferences, with the most economical version priced at $5,800 and the most sophisticated variant commanding a price tag of $7,800. To provide context to these figures, it's important to consider the diverse options available within the Panda Mini EV lineup. These price tags represent a nearly 49-fold reduction compared to high-end computers like the MacBook Air Supreme. The Panda Mini EV has gained immense popularity, igniting fierce competition among Chinese EV manufacturers. One contender in this competitive field is the Wuling Bingo, a compact electric car crafted by SAI CGM under the Wuling brand. The Wuling Bingo presents two distinct powertrain options. The standard version boasts 40 horsepower, ample for navigating urban areas swiftly. For those seeking an extra power boost, an enhanced version with 67 horsepower is available. Irrespective of the chosen model, the maximum speed is capped at 62 miles per hour. The Wuling Bingo provides users with two battery options. The first option is a smaller battery with a capacity of 17.3 kilowatt hours, offering a range of up to 200 kilometers, approximately 124 miles, on a single charge, as per the NEDC test cycle. For those requiring an extended range, there is a larger battery with a capacity of 31.9 kilowatt hours, allowing travel up to 330 kilometers, around 205 miles, before requiring a recharge. If the array of affordable electric vehicles currently accessible in China were also available in Europe and America, the collective sales of new electric vehicles in both continents would witness a two-fold increase. Thank you so much for joining us today. 
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any of our future content. If you have any thoughts, questions, or suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. We love hearing from you. Stay tuned for our next video, and until then, stay curious, stay inspired, and keep exploring. See you in the next one.